So I have my Wii. It's nice and modded. Got all kinds of great games on it and stuff. But one of the things that I really want to do is experience uh, games like Resident Evil 4 with uh, like the Zapper, or in this in this case, uh, the Cabela's version of that, because this is the best I could find. A buddy gave me this gun. He was cleaning out his apartment or something like that, and he found it, and he knew I was looking for a Zapper, and he's like, what about this? And actually, this turns out to be, in my opinion, better, because I'm going to take a page from Adam Savage's notebook, and I'm going to try to make this more realistic. Um, you know, do a... Uh, kind of a, a paint job on it and make it look, you know, cool and uh, like a real gun almost. <clears throat> um, if you're familiar with Adam Savage, uh, he is uh, the cousin of Randy Savage, the professional wrestler, and he also works on movies and TV shows and stuff. And he does really cool stuff with Nerf guns and stuff like this. He makes them look realistic and sci-fi and futuristic and weathered and great. And he's easily one of my favorite channels on YouTube. And seems like generally just a really nice guy. So anyways, um, enough sucking up. I have a, uh, a third-party Wiimote um, that I got with the purchase of my Wii. Uh, these are really, really common. These like off-brand Wiimotes because they were substantially cheaper. Um, I don't think this has the Wii Motion Plus built in, but uh, hopefully I don't need it. And then, uh, of course, a matching nunchuck. Now, this is actually a much better gun than I thought it was. It's I thought it was just a shell that you put stuff in, you put the controllers in, and you're done with it. But it's got a folding stock, which is pretty cool. If you, you know, if you're into guns and stuff, you can adjust the stock, which is a uh, pretty trick. The uh, clip <laughs> is removable. So there's that. So essentially you um, you put the nunchuck in this slot right here. And yes, this thing is gross. It is very, very dirty. So yeah, you put the nunchuck in here. And then you run the cord. There's a channel through the middle of the gun. You, you run the cord through here. You wrap the cord around this little thing. And then you pop the clip in. And then the cord sticks out here. Let me show you. Um... I could just assemble it, actually. Let me do that real quick. Assembly video. Begin. So you put the Wii, uh, the nunchuck in here. And now this probably is configured for like an actual Nintendo uh, Wiimote and nunchuck, but it fits, seems to fit pretty good. So yeah, now you have trigger here, two triggers kind of, and the thumb pad. It actually feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, like really surprisingly really awesome so you put the nunchuck in there you run the cord it's actually really tight and I don't want to push it too hard because I don't want to like kink the cable or anything but you run it down this channel here and then you take the end you fish it through here so it comes out like the where the, the barrel starts I'd like to thank Cabela's for um, for sponsoring this, this uh, video today. <clears throat> the uh, end runs out here, and then I think what you do is you plug it in. I have taken off the rubber condom and the strap, because I'm sure those just inhibit everything. So you want to take all that out. Put this in here. Maybe. Alright, so this end first. Let me pull the breech back. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so the little sensor's there. You got all the buttons here. Pull that tight and then pull the breech forward or the the what is this what is this thing called? My gun anatomy's off today. The bolt. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Pull the bolt forward to kind of lock that in place. And this is cool. This thing right here actually presses the what is it, the Z trigger or something underneath the controller or the B button? I think it's the B button. So that actually presses that, so I'm not really sure what that'll do in the game. It's probably specific to the game. So then anyways, you take your slack that you have left over and
I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Obviously, I'll tighten it up once it's all said and done. But that's not a bad little package for playing games. You know, I could definitely see me playing some Resident Evil and stuff like that, like this. Now, I do not know what this does right here. There's a very small button here. You know, this might be, this might have been, because uh, there's one on both sides. So this might have been like an additional little scope attachment or something. There it is right now, as you can see. It's almost got kind of like a Destiny kind of vibe going on. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take it apart, clean it very good, because this thing is nasty. And uh, yeah, we're going to clean it up and uh, paint it and do some cool weathering and make it look real. And then we'll try it out on some games. But this is the beginning of the video. Disassembly video. So here's the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Definitely a big improvement over the original. Obviously they paint the, uh, the stuff orange for safety reasons. So, you know, you're not walking around outside and a cop sees you and starts shooting you. Lord knows they like to do that nowadays. It functions just as it did beforehand. It, I didn't paint this, obviously, because uh, if you're sliding up and down, it's going to scrape the paint off. Everything's kind of tight because, you know, you have a whole layer of paint that's kind of messing with the clearances a little bit, but um, you get a little bit of scraping on the corners and stuff, but it really doesn't look too bad. kind of adds to that weathered look, you know. I'm trying to get the lighting in here as best I can, but I'm an amateur, so. So I did look it up, too. There is a scope that did come with this, uh, this little gun. The person who gave me the gun didn't have it, or he probably did somewhere, maybe, but. Not for me. Uh, I did try it out a little bit with uh, a couple games. 
and it's definitely not not nearly as good as, as I thought it would be. It's pretty bad actually, especially because the controls don't quite line up. Like I figured this would be shooting, not. Uh, it's definitely not. So, um, but I'll uh, I'll shoot some footage of me trying out a couple games, and then um, we'll go from there. All right, so it's all assembled here. Have the the Wii Mote right here. The official Nintendo one. I decided not to go with the cheapies just because they were giving me problems. And then here's the the Wii Nunchuck right here. You can see it. Got the cord run for the most part pretty well. This turn here is pretty tight, so if you go any, if you go too hard, it'll probably kink the cable. So got your adjustable stock. I push it all the way in because I'm not going to be like dodging and diving around. <laughs> So anyways, I have some uh, Metroid some Metroid Prime started, so we'll go ahead and start with that. Okay. How are we looking? Uh, oh, man. Everything's really weird. I could probably, probably go for, like, a good... Oh, shoot. Shoot. Yeah, this is so weird. The controls definitely take getting used to. To the missile arm. There you go. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's so bad. It's just so like it's so much easier just to use the Wii mode like a, a normal, uh, like a normal person. <laughs> Probably fun for like a kid. Or if you really get used to it, you might get a slight advantage. But right now, no, you're not getting anything with it. Let's go ahead and we'll switch to Resident Evil. See how that is. I already can tell you it's not going to be any better. I already tried it. I'm going to pretend like I haven't yet. Let's go try Resident Evil. You can't really remap the controls uh, in any of these games. You could just kind of do some basic stuff. So I was hoping I can remap all the buttons. The C trigger is aim. The is it Z trigger shoot. But no. It's a little bit di different. A little bit weird. I did start a little game here. I got past the first scene. Which, uh, going up against three dudes was kind of actually really scary and tough. I don't know, maybe that's realistic here, but... Alright, <laughs> so... It's not as bad as Metroid, I'd say. Uh, definitely a little bit better. So this, uh, like, shotgun pullback thing is, like, aim. And then A is shoot, or C trigger is the player knife. This is, like, camera. The, the D-pad is camera. There's some birds. Let's try to kill these birds here. And then to run, oh, the run is Z. That's right. I have that. Money. Grenades. Yes, please. You can kind of use the, uh, the the analog stick in conjunction with aiming. They kind of help you a little bit. Aiming is just kind of fine tuning. And then the analog stick kind of gets you in the general direction. So I think if you actually can get used to it. What was that? Is that a snake? Oh, it's a trap. Shot. There you go. Conveniently, they yell at you before they start to attack, so that works out pretty good. Yeah, I think if I like, if I was probably um, on a bigger TV, standing up in my living room playing this, it'd probably be a lot better. But just right here in this small room, it's not that great. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. This is snake. Nope. <laughs> I wish you can use the aim if you go like the edge of the screen. I wish it would aim for you, but it doesn't. It's pretty good though. So, I mean, definitely playable. I don't know for how long. Uh, wait. Whoa! You piece of crap. Get you in the. Oh, it killed him. Oh, all right. The snake's in here, I bet. Get it. That's a little meta, isn't it? I'm playing by my own rules, hunt again. Oh, what is that? Oh, this is the town? No way. I'm going to get annihilated. This looks like a normal town to me. Oh, no, this is... Okay. This is where... 
I have to fight these guys until they ring the bell, which I believe is basically like after I kill the chainsaw guy. This is going to be such a nightmare. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Get out of here, lady. Oh, gosh. Go. No. Shit. Whoa. All right. Regroup. What was that? Oh god, I hear people behind me. Oh, I have I don't have many bullets left. Go! Shit! Take them! Take them! There's a way to turn around, I think, right? Yeah. Where are they going? Oh shit! Cow. It's me and you, buddy. Where is everybody? Oh. Oh shit. Get out of here, lady. Oh, go, 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 go. This is bad. This is so bad. What? Nope. I hear a chainsaw. Is that a chainsaw? Oh shit. Sit through here. Chicken. Chicken. Help me. Oh, shit. Stop. Lady, stop. God, this is so bad. Oh. This is so much harder than the GameCube version. I don't even know how to even use a grenade if I wanted to forget about it oh boy it's hard because you have to pull back this this plunger thing in order to like who keeps sniping with oh it's the guy up there you're gonna get it sniping boy oh boy stop it Get amount of bullets there you go shut up that up. Ooh, is this an egg? Yes. Chicken egg. Used. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go down here. And this will be our last stand. Oh yeah. Kennedy's last stand, baby. Shit. Uh alright, hold on. We're gonna do it. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, we got some bullets. All right. All right. And all right, we gotta equip back our thing. This is so. Freaking hard, man. Oh my gosh. Alright, here we're gonna do. Nope. Go back up here. Kenny's last stand again. I just fucking popped out of nowhere. Oh, 
my gosh. Thank God. Well, I'd say it's definitely better than Metroid. Um, once you use the controls, it's probably really fun. But uh, anyways, I had a pretty good time using this. Uh, I don't see me playing with it all the time. Yeah, if anyone's got any other cool ideas like this, like uh, accessories and stuff to do. Um, you know, I chose this gun because the, the Zapper is just a kind of a, a really kind of basic looking gun because I think Nintendo didn't want it to look too gunny. So, um, but if anyone has any other cool accessories or, you know, game stuff that maybe you can do this with, you know, try it out on your own or, you know, suggest it and we'll try to do it on this channel here. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.